Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Angel and I'm going to shuffle today. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna shuffle for the collective. It's been a minute. I haven't been called to shuffle collectively for some time. I've been shuffling for myself and for my family, my friends, but <clears throat> let's get into it. How are you guys? How's life? What's going on? <sighs> Somebody needs to hear whatever I'm about to say. So let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides of light and love, thank you for this time. Thank you for the person that is watching this right now. I ask for protection as I connect with the hearts of the collective. Whoever's watching this, give them the discernment and the wisdom to hear whatever you would have for them to hear. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this feels like a message about the next step. So someone feels like maybe what's my next step? If that's the question that you're asking, that's the first question that you're asking, then this message, this is your message. So it feels like some sort of confusion about what's next or question about what's next. Someone's looking for clarity about what's next. It feels like it could be job related. It may be a job that you just started or a project that was just started and it feels like you may be questioning the value of this thing now that you're in it and it could be something that you just started or it could be something that you felt that you were divinely guided to or something that you were divinely guided to but now it feels like it may be time for a pivot but you may be questioning that because you just started it <clears throat> and it may um so you may be questioning like consistency or maybe you've had issues with consistency in the past And you're trying not to repeat that same thing. You're still learning. So be kind to yourself because you're still learning. Is there anything else about this? Yeah. So this is something that you've been contemplating for a while. And seeking guidance on. And here it is. I feel like you know what it is that you want to do. Like you know what it is that feels good. Like whatever you're hoping to hear. Yeah. You know what it is that you want to do. And you know what feels right. Yeah. Spirit is saying do what feels right. Someone's contemplating because of fear of like judgment. You don't want to seem, you don't want to, you don't want the I told you so's or the embarrassment of maybe like backtracking or going back to something else <clears throat> or not, or feeling like I can't do this on my own or I should be able to do this. But that's not what this is. Like, the divine would never set you up that way. 
this has all been a learning experience as life is but this in particularly has been a learning experience and you have learned so much like if you just look back over whatever this is like even though it's it feels like it's been short-lived you've learned so much you've gained so much wisdom so much knowledge you learned so much about yourself and you've taught other people things you've been an inspiration for other people as well and so you don't you can't be worried about what people are going to say but i right now i feel like you're being your biggest critic i mean no one really gives it no one cares really and if they do care then obviously they don't have much going on but that's that's neither here nor there like you don't worry about that the divine doesn't want you to be caught up on that because that's what's keeping you stagnant like that's that's the hesitation that's the biggest part of the hesitation you know what it is you were divinely guided to this particular opportunity you're being divinely guided to pivot into something else into something better into the next chapter the next chapter that you called in it, it it's not going to look the same it doesn't look the same and so that's what has you questioning things but you know that you're being divinely guided if you would take time to stop and listen and you know check out the signs that the divine has been giving you like you know what it is that you're supposed to do like you know what it is that feels good but you're worried about what people are going to say and spirit does not want you to do that <clears throat> and that's what they want to come through and say right now very loud very strong don't worry about that don't focus on the lesser they're, they're saying the more not the lesser okay what's the next thing and i feel something in my throat like <clears throat> like something something's not going down easy maybe there was something that was said that or maybe something was said to you that you're still like going over that didn't that you just didn't take well or you said something that just did not go well i don't know why but a chicken could be significant or a chicken maybe you did you just eat chicken maybe you're cooking chicken <laughs> or, or craving chicken or maybe you're being asked to give up chicken <laughs> okay okay so they want to talk about love and i heard the word connect connectivity connection they want to talk about love they want to talk about connection something about early morning something something things just got really quiet not physically but like spiritually things got really 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 quiet it feels like morning okay so what about this connection okay okay something about this connection is shifting <laughs> you're not the only one that has the capacity and the ability to change and naturally i have the six of swords and the eight of cups and it feels like i don't know how if you read tarot how you would normally interpret these cards but i'm getting something really positive or rather positive from these cards here along with the king of cups it feels like they definitely want to talk about love and they want to talk about a shift in your love life it feels like a lot has happened like thing after thing after thing after thing and it doesn't have to all be bad but it just it just feels like a lot has happened like there's a lot, like when you think back over the course of the, yeah, I'm hearing year in, in review. So, or I'm seeing year in review. So like when you look back over the course of this year, a lot has happened and, I, and I'm hearing substantial growth. So a lot has happened and it's been like a conduit 
um, or a container for growth. And Spirit is saying it has not been in vain. I don't know if things are happening the way that you had hoped for them to or if things aren't happening fast enough for you. But yeah, it has not been in vain. And I think that you know that. Yeah, you definitely know that. Mm. Okay, yeah. There could have been um, this year you may have had like some sort of health. I don't want to say issues. Um, but you may have had you may have dealt with some health issues or some health concerns this year and it doesn't feel major but just spirit is saying spirit wants me to say that it hasn't been major but it's felt major but i'm seeing the word like purging so it's really been a symptom of something that was going on spiritually so whatever you were dealing with, like a cold, um, whatever, bronchitis, laryngitis, I don't know, was a physical purging symptom for something that was happening spiritually. I hope that makes sense. And I'm sure it'll make sense to whoever it's meant for. Okay, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about next. Okay, somebody's like, okay, now what now? What now? Okay, so what now? The strength card. Somebody's like, okay, so what now? Stability, yes. The four cups is the four cups. What? That's why I never say what card it is, because <laughs> the four of wands and the strength card. Just excuse Layla. <laughs> the strength card and the four of wands. Yes, there is stability, confidence. Somebody's being made new, made stronger. Like this year has been so good for you. Yeah, the temperance card. It's been transformative, restorative. Like I'm hearing so many words, like transformative, restorative. You've let go of a lot. And I don't even feel like this is physically. I feel like this is you've let go of like different parts of you parts that you have been holding on to for a very 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 uh -uh. <laughs> parts of you that you have been holding on to for so long like shadow parts of you that you had just accepted that were a part of you yes queen of cups ace of cups i can't make it up the death card Tra major transformation heavy on scorpio energy Listen, this I think this is the message. I knew this was going to be short and sweet, but this is a message of hope, I feel like, for someone. Um, and this feels timeless, as all readings are. The future, the present, they are happening at once. So whenever you come across this video, um, you'll know and it'll be for you. But there is so, like, I feel so, like that feeling I was feeling earlier, I feel so much lighter. I feel so much I just feel like I can breathe. I can exhale. Like it, it just feels so good. And I'm being drawn to a moonstone, to my moonstone. So you could be connecting with your um, feminine energy, even if you're a masculine watching this right now. You could be connecting with your feminine energy. Um, you could be um, <clears throat> being drawn to water or having dreams of water. You could be seeing blue in your dreams. Um, you could be connecting with your intuition or looking to connect with your intuition. If you are, then Moonstone is a really good stone for that. But I think that that's the end of this message. Yeah, I think that that's it. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the end of the message. <laughs> okay, if, if you enjoyed this video, um, be sure to like subscribe y'all i'm trying to get to 50 subscribers and i know i can do it if 5,000 of y'all 6,000 almost can tune in from tiktok i know 
I can get to 50 subscribers so I can go live from YouTube. Um, it would mean the world to me. If you would like, subscribe. That helps the algorithm. Anyways, I will see you next time. I love you.